Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. I come to you today from the lovely Campanella Park in Vineland, South New Jersey, where I'm out just uh, despite this weather, enjoying nature and going for a run and just kind of relaxing. But I wanted to check in first and talk to you a little bit about, um, given that it's our Mental Health Awareness Week, I wanted to drop some knowledge about something that may not be surprising for my clinicians, my nurses and therapists out there, but that may, you may still find very interesting. And that is the correlation between cognitive behavioral therapy which is a type of therapy that works on recognizing irrational thoughts and changing your behavior to those thoughts and COPD. So COPD is something that as clinicians we see a lot, especially in our elderly patients, um, in patients who have like chronic conditions. We are gonna be treating them obviously with pulmonary rehab, we're gonna be doing our exercises, strength training, endurance, we all know that playbook. But what we may not be doing is cognitive behavioral therapy techniques um, and I just want to kind of look at that a little bit today. Uh, what people don't realize is that patients with COPD um, are up to 60% are of them have also a mental health uh, issue such as depression, uh, anxiety or panic disorder. Panic disorder is actually 10 times more uh, prevalent in those with COPD than in the, um, in the population widely. So um, this makes sense as panic attacks and panic and breathlessness shares a lot of um, shares a lot of the same symptoms with COPD. Uh, breathlessness, for example, is a hallmark of both panicking and of COPD. However, the person with COPD may interpret this breathlessness as a symptom and what they do is uh, start to over rely on their medications, they start to uh, go to the doctor more um, or they, they treat the COPD symptoms without treating the anxiety or panic that goes with it. Um, we've, we know there's a lot of research out there to say that pa patients who do this are less likely to engage in pulmonary rehab, they're less likely to decrease risky behaviors like smoking for example and uh, they're less likely to have a good outcome and good quality of life. So um, long story short there is some really good research out of the UK a nurse practitioner developed a very simple handout that um, was given to patients with COPD just a handout no therapy sessions no sit down no huge buy-in and the handout alone which described CBT, CBT and described some of the uh, techniques that they could do this handout alone decreased readmissions improved quality of life and improved outcomes so um, it goes uh, you know it, the research is supportive of including cognitive behavioral therapy techniques in your sessions as nurses, as therapists, teaching your patient how to recognize these growing symptoms of anxiety, panic and so on, is actually going to have really beneficial long-term outcomes for them, um, like decreased hospitalizations, decreased visits to the emergency department and so on. So um, I have actually written an article on this that I'm going to link to in the comments below if you want to read a little bit more about it, about a five minute read and it gives you all the resources that you can access to see though that information that's given out to patients. So I hope you all are looking after yourselves, you know, um, now more than ever we need to look after our mental health, right? So if you can get out and enjoy a beautiful day like this, I encourage you to do so. All right, I'll check back in with you soon. Bye now.